Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today I will show you how you can install docker on windows system and uh, if you are getting any issue while installation then how you can just resolve it and uh, as a system engineer I was installing uh, docker in lots of systems and uh, uh, some of them I was getting issue with the installation part and uh, it was the solution you can see here but uh, I will show you through the first steps from installation to the last so I'm going to install this I have downloaded this setup from docker site so you can also download it's not a big deal uh, yes I have already opened so you can just click here to download you can just copy this URL also I will paste in description so yes docker is starting now WSL instead of Hyper-V okay and add good shortcut okay so it will use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V so we don't need to uh, just enable Hyper-V from features and all that so let's see and wait so guys if you are uh, getting helpful these videos so kindly subscribe the channel also uh, like the video so I can create more and more for you and uh, I will also uh, create more videos on Linux errors and uh, software errors and a lot of things so you can just subscribe my channel you will get more updates now it's installing unpacking is done installing now okay it's taking time it's around 400 500 b of uh, files so close and restart okay you might restart windows to complete installation uh, okay so after restarting my system i got the agreement from docker end so i have to accept the terms and conditions accepted and now docker is stopping okay so this is the error which uh, I am just getting lots of time so I need to fix it and uh, resolve this okay so uh, you can see here okay so you can see here it's uh, just saying that you need to download this and uh, the error is WSL2 Linux kernel is now installed using a separate MIS update package please click the link and follow the instructions to install the kernel update so uh, if I click to this link it will show me the software from docs and I have to just click here to download it now it's downloading and uh, after just installing this I need to restart my system again and then it must be working okay so let's do it and uh, if uh, uh, by mistake if you have just closed this page and you are not able to get this, get this link uh, then uh, you need to just come here and uh, just cancel this and click here troubleshoot and click clean slash purge data and uh, once you click here you will get the same uh, update and things because it will just troubleshoot your system and uh, uh, just find out the what is the exact error which is stopping the docker and then you will get it okay, okay so let me just go to downloads sorry I just clicked different one cancel this I need to install it okay it's installing done now we need to restart my system again let me do it okay guys so I have uh, restarted my system again and uh, okay 
without going to start docker docker automatically getting started now and you can see the docker desktop starting let's wait until it's started okay so estimated time two minutes let's start get started with the docker and qz steps skip tutorial i don't want to yes get any tutorial docker run hyphen dp docker getting started it's a command just copy and uh, open terminal let me paste here unable to find docker slash that is locally pulling okay so you can see it's pulling the image okay. done 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 last two are waiting okay so it's done now you can see automatically we just get the image here and it's a running condition even we can stop pause modify Okay, so uh, the, my main purpose was to uh, explain you if we're getting a uh, stopping error in your docker then you can just come here and clean and pause but uh, right now if you're going to do this or factor reset it will uh, just close and just destroy your all images and packages so you can just do it uh, on freshly installed time so that's it and uh, that's all now. So thank you so much. Have a nice day.